In this short screencast, we're going to have a look at how a student would share work from their iPad with their classroom teacher using the Google Drive app. The very first step is that students need to create a folder and share that with their teacher. So the students will go into the Google Drive app. The first time they will need to probably log in, but then they'll click on this plus button up in the top right hand corner and they will select new folder. They then need to name that new folder. I would suggest something like the student's full name followed by their class code. Once I've entered those details, I click on create and then that should create a brand new folder within my Google Drive app or within my Google Drive account. The students then need to share that folder. So clicking on the little arrow in the top right and then on the plus button the students will share that with their teacher by putting in the teacher's email address. Once the student has put in their teacher's email, they'll click on the Add button. And over on the right hand side, you can see that the student is the owner of that account, that file, uh, and there it is shared with my teacher. Now pretty soon, the teacher's going to get about 25 emails, and there's the first one, and you'll get an email from each one of your students. So now as a teacher, we need to go and create a class folder. And that class folder will basically be a collection of all the students' work. So, teacher needs to go into the Google Drive app. So here I am as the teacher, and when I click on Shared with me, I'll see all of my students' work shared with my Google Drive account. I need to now create some sort of folder to keep that work organised. Clicking on the plus button in the top right hand side, I'm going to create a new folder and obviously this would best be used as my 7PE class code or something like that. So there's my PDHPE class code and I'm going to click create. Just to show you where that went, when I click on my drive, I can see there that I now have a folder. There's nothing in that folder. I need to go back to shared with me and I need to put each of my student folders into my class. So clicking over here on the right, I'm going to then click up in the top right hand corner on those three bars and I want to click on add to drive and then I'm going to select my PE folder and I'm going to click the button move here. And that will place Adam's folder into my drive. And just to show you that, there's Adam's folder. Now I need to repeat that for each of those other folders that were shared with me. Now you can, of course, move those folders using your iPad, but I'd suggest coming into your um, Google Mail, your Lismore Mail. Click on this button up here at the top, which says Drive. And that takes you to a web-based version of the same thing as what we're looking at. There's my 7PE folder with Adam's work in it. If I go to the Shared With Me button, if I select all of my students' work, okay, all of these various folders that are being shared, and if I click on the little Organize button, I'm going to put that into 7PDHB, and in one fell swoop, I can put all of those folders into my 7PE folder. So that's a much quicker way to do it. So now, of course, we're ready to start collecting student work. So let's have a look at how a student would share work with you into those folders. Let's go to, for example, Notability. Notability is an app that we use a fair bit. Uh, and here a student is working on their school prayer. Uh, they've highlighted, they've made some notes, they've added a picture, they've done what they need to do, and now they want to share that with you. So they'll click on the Action button, and they'll select Google Drive, and they may need to change their folder just to make sure that they've got the right subject. In this particular instance, I'm going to share this with my PE teacher. So if you want to share the folder, change the folder, you would just click that and select. And I'm just going to click the Send to Google Drive button. That processes, that might take a little moment, but essentially that drops that work into that folder. So obviously as a teacher, I can view that work on my iPad, or probably easier, I can come into my Google Drive online and I can have a look at Bill because he just sent me that school prayer. There it is there and I can see Bill's work quite easily. That's an easy way to share work with each other.